What's going on guys? Rizzle from Rizzle Vapes here coming at you today with a video that I talked about uh, in the last unboxing video that I did about mechanical mods. And today we're going to take a look at mechanical mods and battery safety. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is you are going to want to take a look at your battery. Now, what you want to look for on there is the amp limit. This is an AWT, uh, claims to be a 3000 milliampere milliamp hour battery at 40 amps. That's not true. Tried and tested, this is about a 20 amp battery, so just make sure you know what the what the amp output on your battery is stay safe so what we're gonna look at first is how to find the amps for your build now if we just take a standard uh, fully charged battery it's typically around 4.2 volts so that's what you want to start with you want to start with your volts and you want to divide that by your build so if we go with my current build in my mech mod on the RDA you would divide 4.2, which like I said is just a starting point, it could be a little less, it could be a tad bit more, but uh, we're going to divide that by 0.38, and that's the ohms on my RDA, and we come out to about 11.05 when rounded to uh, my amp output on the build. So, knowing that my battery is a 20 amp battery, the 11 amp output is in the safe zone. Now to find out your wattage, how much wattage you're getting since it is an unregulated device and you cannot change that, this video is for mech mods and unregulated. So knowing that and to figure out what your watts are, you would take your volts times your current. So we know that our current is 11.05 is what we just figured out, what we just calculated. Now you would take that by your volts on a full charged battery you'd be pushing about 46.4 watts to your device, which is right around where I like to vape. I vape in the 50, 55 range, so 46 is a really good vape for me. Uh, you'll wanna calculate that out depending on what works best for you. But remember that if you have a 20 amp battery, even at a fresh battery, let's say you want to, uh, build a 0 .2, 0 0.2 resistance coil, you're pushing 21 amps. You're pushing 21 amps. So if you only have a 20 amp battery, you are out of the safe zone. I definitely do not recommend that, but it changes. It varies just by slight calculation to divide out to a 0.25 ohm coil build, which I do run in my mech mod sometimes as a 0 0.18 point, I mean 16.8. Eight. So you are still in the safe zone. You're kind of creeping up to that max limit. I personally do not go much further than this at all. Just kind of sketches me out. But uh, you you want to make sure that you're not going to vent your battery. That is uh, bad news, and it, and it gives us a bad image every time somebody's careless with batteries and it blows up in their face or in their pocket. Another thing that I wanted to talk about was this website, Vape Calc. Dot com. We go here and look at that. Everything that we just did, it will show for you. You can sw swap on over to find your volts and you can find uh, solve for watts. So, and, it, and, and this will also tell you everything. So, going by what we just did on the calculator, as you can see, I have it marked in here. My current build is a 0.38 resistance coil, dual coil with a 4.2 voltage roughly on a fresh brand new battery. You hit this button, pops up. Let's move this a little bit so you can see the outcome. So here we can see that the resistance is 0.38, the voltage is 4.2 roughly. Power in watts like we calculated 46.42 watts. Pretty much exact in current amps is 11.0. Five. So this website is amazing. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can take a look at it. It really helps when you're doing your builds uh, and it kind of, you know, gives you that knowledge that you're not going over your safe zone and uh, things like that. So we are going to flip around. We're going to vape and discuss some 
other battery things and then we'll get you on your way. So when it comes to mech mods and unregulated mods, you want to look at high drain batteries. These are AWT, they're rewrapped, so there's not really a lot that I can for sure instinctively know about them aside from the fact that I do know that they are 20 amp batteries. Aside from that, I don't know much else. Uh, I would recommend, seeing as this was the only battery that my shop carried when I picked this mech mod up, uh, I did go with one of those batteries, but I definitely recommend some LG, some Samsung 25Rs, some Sony BTCs, just make sure they're genuine. There are several websites, and I'll actually link another one of those into the description, so you can tell the difference between counterfeit and authentic Samsung 25Rs, but when it comes to the Samsungs, I definitely recommend them. They're great high drain batteries that, that last just perfect amounts of time in my regulated mods, and uh, I haven't really used one in a mech mod yet, but... I have one coming, so. Staying on point with safety, always make sure that you're carrying your loose batteries around in a case. These were uh, $1.29 at my local vape shop. I got a shitload of them. I got like five or six, because I'm going out of town this weekend, so uh, I'm gonna bring all my vape gear and batteries and stuff, and I have like 12 of them, so. I have a bunch of cases, they're super cheap, and they just, they protect you. They, they protect you. Don't, don't throw your battery in your pocket with loose change keys, your cell phone, anything else where metal on metal contact could happen that is dangerous. And like I said, it gives us a bad image. It makes this look demonizing. It demonizes this, and we don't want to do that. We want to help each other out. We want to stay safe. We want to stay off the cigarettes. We want to vape. So please, be careful, use your calculations, know what your amp limit is on your battery, don't follow the pulse rating. I see vapors on Instagram, on my Instagram account, say that all the time. Oh, you got a, a amp pulse rating of 100, uh, 100 amps you know, per pulse. And yeah, we might not be holding down on it for too long, but we have no idea how long they were pulsed for. So let's say, in my regulated mods, I can take deep seven, eight second drags I wouldn't want to do that on here, even if I am in the safe zone, because I just don't know. I just, I, I want to stay safe. I mean, and it's an RDA, so I get more vapor anyway, but it's just something that you have to be aware of. You have to be consciously aware of all the dangers that can happen, calculate for it, stay in your safe zones, and keep on vaping. Guys, if you like the video, go ahead and leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest content, and I will see you in the next one.